We hope you're having a lovely morning. Our top story today is about organic chemistry professor Joe Jeffers. Now he's changing the way organic chemistry is taught. It seems he has gone on all tests and the students' grade are based solely upon class participation. Early studies show decreased stress, lower blood pressure, fewer panic attacks, lower suicide rate, and even a decrease in cancer. Wow, he really is changing the world for the better. In other news, there has been a mass riot involving PA. You mean people against the abuse of water? Well, yes. The riot has been over the treatment of water by scientists. Let's check in with Hubert Cumberdale, our reporter in the field. Yes, I'm here with General Franks, head of the Arkansas National Guard. He's going to give us a little background information on the situation. Well, um, the rioters are uh, peaceful, and we don't um, expect any violence out of them today. However, um, my men are on uh, standby in case there are any problems. Becky, Sarah, could you give us some background on why these rioters seem to be so upset? Well, Hubert, the rioters seem to be very upset about a step in an SN1 reaction. An SN1 mechanism is a unimolecular reaction taking place in two steps, one in which a carbocation is formed. This mechanism prefers a tertiary carbon, and a weak nucleophile will prevent an SN2 mechanism from taking place. A good leaving group and a polar solvent to stabilize the charges also promote an SN1 mechanism. Sarah, can you walk us through an example, please? Yes, Becky, I can. We're going to start with T-butyl alcohol, and we're going to add HCl to protonate the alcohol so we can form a carbocation. And here we're going to protonate this so we can form water, which is a good leaving group. We can leave this carbocation so that the chlorine can then come in on the tertiary carbon, and then we form our alkyl halide. Now here's a reaction the people of Paul will really appreciate. No water was harmed in this SN1 mechanism. We're going to start out with 3 iodo 2 methyl butane. Iodine is such a good leaving group, it's just going to leave on its own. However, iodine is also a very good nucleophile, so we're going to want some AgNO3 in the pot to prevent SN2 from occurring. Now that we have a carbocation on the secondary carbon, it's going to want to rearrange to the tertiary carbon. So it does. Our nucleophile, chlorine, is going to come in on this positive charge. We're going to end up with 2 chloro 2 methyl butane. Now let's go back to Hubert in the field and see how things are going. It seems the riders have gotten out of control. The National Guard is ready to attack. Charge! The lesson learned today is maybe we should all think twice before kicking water out of a molecule, especially when there are ways around it. Until next time, this has been Good Morning Organic.